wood makes your garden grow water and sunshine wood makes your spirit grow knowing that should be mine hey guys this is jack from freedom homestead and we got a video kind of update you on our chicken coop and what we've got going on and uh things didn't quite go as we expected um i'm gonna explain that a little bit later um now part of it is with the chicken coop um we had originally planned to get uh some good um electric uh netting kind of like the premier one electric netting and put all around out here and then when we let them out they can roam around and then we can move the netting to the other side and let them, you know, just kind of switch it back and forth every, every few weeks. Um, right now, everything's sold out. You, you cannot buy it right now. So uh, it's gonna be a month or so before we can actually get that kind of netting. So in the meantime, um, I was actually scrounging around in our uh, garden shed and found some chicken netting and enough to at least make a circle around our coop. So we're gonna go ahead and start bringing the chickens out and getting them used to this area. And uh, we'll just do that until we can eventually go from there. So not quite what we expected, not quite how we, you know, we wanted to plan it out. But anyway, that's what we're doing for now. Uh, the big not quite expecting it, we'll show you towards the end of this video. Look what we got coming over here. We got, uh, I think we got some chickens coming. All right. So Emily's bringing out the water, but here's our chicky babies. One of them looks like she's terrified. The other ones are ready to explore, I think. Y'all ready? Here we go. First time I think they've ever been on grass. It probably is. Yeah. You okay? Come here, you. I know. They don't know what to think. Oh, please don't poop in that. That's your water dish. That's going to be your water dish. Well, for a few hours, we'll, we're probably getting ready to head into town and buy the water. We got a feeder here, but we're going to get the water. Oh, this is going to get composted. Yeah, and we got to get these used to the grass and let them start checking things out and getting used to the area. I don't know if you can see my shirt. I got a new shirt. My friend made this for me. It says, uh, I just want to work in the garden and play with my chickens. <laughs> oh, look. So, now we uh -oh. even got, yeah, got that's not going to. Ruger, no. <laughs> All right. I might have to get in here and show them where they're going. Come on, girls. Okay, so I'm going to run down and get their grit. And then I've got some hunks of old watermelon that we're going to give them as a treat. And then I've got some herbs I'm going to throw in here. Um, hopefully, it'll make them excited about being in a new place. So, yeah. there they are. There they are. None of them have gotten names yet. I was kind of waiting until they feathered out. That way we can uh, see if they have any distinguishable markings that we'll know who is who. So, we've been watching them for probably, I don't know how long it's been, maybe 20 minutes. Um, they spent the first little bit exploring. And then they started uh, picking and scratching and uh, eating bugs. And then, then they came over here and ate a whole bunch of grit, and now they're eating feed. And a couple of them have pecked out some of the watermelon. They've gotten some water, and yeah, they just seem really excited about their new crib. <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> mm -hmm. Jack used the chicken whisperer. Yeah, they like me. Mm -hmm. I've got a few that really like me here.
Well, this is our temporary setup with our permanent coop, if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, uh, this is also the week of 4th of July and uh, we, uh, it's been super hot. We're, we're kind of just miserable right now. It's, it's in the mid nineties and the humidity is, is right up there also. It's, it's just crazy hot. Which is why we're glistening. Yeah, so um, we're super tired, but we did have a good 4th of July. Um, we actually had uh, some of our friends come over and we don't usually do this, but we actually went, well, somebody actually went and bought some fireworks didn't even know what we were buying. Let freedom ring, baby. <laughs> yeah. So we thought, yeah, let's do it. Um, we haven't done this in years and years. So we decided to set off some fireworks. And uh, they did not go quite as expected. But it made for a really kind of... Everything was okay. Everything was fun. But the video that we captured through our son was awesome i'll just say it was awesome well what i um, what i wish we would have caught though was right before what we're getting ready to show you happens our daughter said it's not fourth of july until i feel like i'm at bunker hill <laughs> <laughs> what's this one gonna do oh. I don't play those games. Oh my God. That's not supposed to happen. Oh my gosh. Oh my. What? I've never felt more close to death. Yeah, so I guess it did get a little crazy there for a second. Um, the more I watch that video, uh, the whole family, the more we laugh and laugh and laugh. You know, nobody was hurt or anything, but evidently one of the boxes, uh, when it shot, it tipped it over sideways, and so it shot off a few sideways. And that's why you gotta be very, very careful um, messing with stuff like that. But anyway, um, hope you enjoyed our update about our chickens, by the way, the gardening is doing awesome as well. Um, so don't forget, Monday nights, we usually do our live show. And uh, um, if you haven't subscribed to us, like our video, subscribe, just follow along with us. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching. What makes your garden grow water and sunshine? What makes your spirit grow knowing that you'll be mine?